All right, and welcome to round one here at In The Zone Gaming. Steuben, as always, going solo with the commentary. I got Zach on the right, starting off, took a mulligan off of Josh, and he's playing the Reggie Gang. Josh is appearing to be playing an Ice Rider deck. I'm not quite sure if, if there's a Palkia line in here or not, but we'll find out as the game progresses. But it looks like Zach is going to go through here and do a few shenanigans with that Stormy Mountains, trying to attempt to grab a Reggie Drago or a Regilecki. Zach is hot off of a top eight at the full grip games standard event that happened this past weekend with the Astral Radiance format. He did, in fact, play Mew VMAX. So, decided to change it up and bring the Reggie gang to the stream. Stormy Mountains is going to grab that Re uh, Regilecki here and slap it on the bench. We'll see if he's got some more actions in his hand for the turn here looks like a speed lightning energy a couple quick balls and a choice belt so that speed lightning is going to get attached to the regular he's going to draw two cards uh, we see a capture and a ordinary rod and looking like the uh quick balls are going to go in here yeah quick ball discarding the capture energy point of this deck is to get as many energy cards into the discard as possible while getting all five different Reggies into play. So Reggie Gaius can accelerate energy from the discard pile. They all have a lot of different uh, benefits and drawbacks. But it's definitely a really cool deck to see. And we're going to see another Quick Ball here, discarding the Ordinary Rod, grabbing the Registeel. So at this point, he is just one Reggie away from being able to use Reggie Gaius' ability. Choice belt onto the Regilecki and a scoop up net promoting the Reggie Drago. So he's going to be able to rebench that Reg Ice and start using the ability of the Reggie Drago to draw up until they have four cards in hand. I think they have just uh, one. So they're going to go ahead and draw three here. They did hit the Reggie Rock. What a gas turn one. And then, yeah, Reggie Gigas' ability is going to be able to fire off here, accelerating energy from the discard pile onto one Pokemon. Uh, looks like, yep, we're just going to go ahead and get that on to the Reggie Drago here. And looks like Zach's going to pass it over to Josh. Josh is going to start off by benching a Sobble. Looks like they've got a research in hand and a switch card and a uh, quick ball and some other options here. There is a quick ball discarding an Inteleon there. Probably going to look for another Sobble here. Uh, that Calyrex is definitely stuck in the active. Or we could see him also just grab another Calyrex to guarantee that he's going to have an attacker. Uh, if Zach does some moving and pivoting, Reggie Steel can one-shot that Calyrex due to weakness here. But Josh does decide to grab the Radiant Greninja. It's got the ability Concealed Cards. You can discard an Energy Card to draw two cards once per turn. And we do see this Tool Scrapper. I'm going to go ahead and eat that Choice Belt. Out of here, and it looks like just a pass from Josh. Very uneventful turn. No energy attachment, no energy acceleration. Not much rolling on here. Definitely holding on to that research that we saw in their hand here. Uh, Zach's going to start off though with a Hisuian Heavy Ball. Other prizes. Look for a basic Pokemon, but uh, they are neglecting to take one or they didn't find one. They're going to go ahead and just shuffle those prize cards back up. Contemplating some actions here. It looks like a Zinni's Resolve discarding the Bruno and an Aurora to just draw three cards. You have to, draw, you have to discard two a Zinni and then you draw a card for every card your uh, every Pokemon your opponent has in play. So in just case, just three. The more advanced your opponent gets, the better the draw here is. You see a capture being attached. Giving him a little bit of time here. 
Uh, we do see the water energy. I'm gonna go for the concealed cards. Discard that water energy draw too. Uh, there's a battle pass, and I'm not quite sure what the next card is, but there's a level ball, so at least he can find a Drizzile here to start Shady Dealings for any sort of trainer card action that he needs to. In this case, probably going to look for another supporter, but he did eyeball a Sawball and pull it to the front of the deck, so I'm not quite sure what his selection is going to be here. Going to go ahead, another Sawball. And shuffle up here after that selection. And there already was a Drizzile in hand, so that definitely shows why. We're not going to see that happen here. Uh, Josh is going to go ahead and take the Irida. Irida, however you pronounce it. We haven't quite figured that out yet. And looking like a Palkia and a Bucket for the selections for that. There's the two water energy coming from the deck to the hand, thanks to the Cabacious Bucket. We could potentially see the Palkia of V-Star next turn use the ability to attach energy to the water Pokemon in play. Yep, water energy being attached to the active, and I might just see a pierce here for 40 damage. Pretty uneventful from both sides. I got a really good turn one, but couldn't follow up here. And yeah, Josh is just going to pierce for 40 onto the Reggie Drago. Let's we'll see how Zach responds if they're able to do anything here. There's a boss's orders onto the Greninja. We do see another capture energy onto the Reggie Drago. The ability is going to go ahead and draw an additional card here. We could see a retreat at this point in time, depending on what's in the discard already here. I'm all up that Aurora energy in the discard pile, so Gigas might be able to use the ability here. Yep, Regigigas ability, there it is, going to attach that Aurora Energy onto the Regidrago. And then just a pass, I'm sorry, Reg Regilecki, yeah, and a pass back over to Josh, though. Josh is going to go ahead and use the Concealed cards from the Greninja, discard and draw two. Looks like a Research and a Melanie got added to hand here. We do see another Drizzile Evolve for Shady Dealings on top of the Sobble. Maybe looking for a Scoop Up Net to get that out of the active or some other option here i do think he is grabbing a temple of Sinnoh. yeah and there is a temple of Sinnoh. i'm gonna go ahead and use that and now all special energy in play only provide a colorless zach's gonna have to bump that stadium out of here for most of these pokemon to be able to do too much regigigas can attack with colorless energy anyways um that's pretty solid but the rest of them are just nullified and yeah josh is gonna follow up with that research discarding a handful of different cards there Looks like a boss battle pass, Leon, and something else. Greninja just could be stuck in the active here. Again, could just be a dead draw. There is the scoop up net. Gonna go ahead and pick up the Greninja. Let's see where the promotion ends up going. Into the Ice Rider. Greninja can get benched back down, and he can actually concealed cards a second time here, if he has the energy. Since that would be just be reset for being, you know, picked up and replaced. Another bucket firing off. Gonna potentially grab two more water energy. Still has a couple left in deck. Decides to take them. Oh, yep, concealed cards for the second time this turn, thanks to the scoop up net resetting that here. Gonna draw two more cards. He does find the Ice Rider VMAX as well. And here is an attachment on to that Calyrex VMAX. So, Bright of the High King actually gets there. It doesn't have to discard any energy here either. Yep, 
And Quick Ball discarding a belt. Belt's definitely useless in this matchup. Zach doesn't play any Pokemon V whatsoever. And considering another Palkia maybe here? Whoop, looks like a Sobble actually at this point. Yeah, Sobble confirmed. He's going to go ahead and bench that. That also helps out the Palkia. A little bit more damage if it has to attack. We do see another scoop up net and maybe uh, another ball in there. But yeah, Rider of the High King is going to go ahead and take the first prize of the game. Multiple turns in here. Uh, Zach does decide to promote the Regilecki here. Uh, he's got another Drago in play. Powerful energy being attached to the Gigas. And we could actually just see the Terra Spark here for the Retreat, actually. Oh no, he's going on the Retreat, promoting the Reg Drago, drawing an extra card. Could just be stuck. But there is the Regigigas ability attaching a few from the discard pile onto it. And then could just be a pass. Yeah, a pass over to Josh now. So Josh could gain a lot of momentum here if he does have access to a boss's order. We have seen one hit the bin earlier. But there is the Drizzile. Going to search the deck here. There's a boss's orders left. That's definitely a very solid play. And it looks like that is the selection here. We are going to see that boss's orders. Ooh, taking it back. Double check in his hand. Yeah, confirming the boss's orders here. We're definitely going to see that Regigigas get picked up and brought to the active spot. Yeah, and there is the boss. Wiping the threat off the board. Here is the Inteleon also coming down on top of the Drizzle for the double shady dealings. Looks like a Evolution Incense and a Palkia V-Star definitely being eyeballed here. Maybe a Melanie for the next turn as well. So yeah, there's the Evolution inc Incense and the Melanie. And yeah, gonna go ahead and play the Incense and take the Palkia V-Star and slap that down on top of the Palkia V. Its V-Star power is an ability that you can attach Free water energy from your discard pile to your water Pokemon in any way you like. Really good movement here. Looks like Josh is doing math here for the Ride of the High King. He's going to go ahead and use Palkia's V-Star power here to get the energy going on. Looks like two to the Palkia, and where the other one is going to go, I'm not quite certain, but it looks like there it is onto the Inteleon. We can definitely see... Inteleon attack this game, and yeah, gonna go ahead and declare the KO with the uh, VMAX here, knocking out that Reggie Gigas and all of those energy. Zach does promote the Drago. He has another Gigas. There is a twin energy and a research to follow up. If you can find some sort of scoop up or a switch outlet here, I can definitely see Drago get moved out of the act. If there's a trekking shoes here, decides to take whatever that card was. Pulling forth some energy cards here. We're definitely going to see this Regigigas attack this turn, it looks like. Ordinary Rod coming in first, putting in the Drago and the Gigas. Back into the deck and to shuffle that up.
And yeah, Ultra Ball discarding a Aurora and a Zinnia. Probably just going to grab whatever sort of Reggie piece they think they're going to need for the next turn here. Might just be the Gigas getting yeeted from the deck. Or they're just thinning out here, really shuffling up this time. There's the ability popping off. And here we go. We're going to see the energy come out of the discard pile. Thanks to Reggie Gigas' ability. There we go. Three energy from the discard pile. And a pass. Decides to just not uh, get up out of the active. Maybe I was uh, wrong with what I thought I saw in their hand here. Also could have not had the Stadium card to bump out that Temple of Sinnoh. Right now, he does not have enough energy in play to do it. We do see the scoop up net onto that Inteleon, which ends up discarding that Water Energy back to the discard pile here. See how Josh can um, maneuver things around. Decides to slap down the Inteleon again. Kind of double shady dealings. I think they're tapped out of boss's orders at this point. Zach seems to be desperate looking for a stadium in the next turn here. But Josh does decide to grab the quick ball and the ordinary rod. Here we see the quick ball. Discard the battle pass. Grab the last Sobble here out of the deck. We're most likely just going to see another Ride of the High King here this turn. Yep, and there is the Ride of the High King. Down to three prizes left. Zach does promote the Gigas. If he has a stadium to bump, he's definitely in a good position. All right, quick ball. Discarding yet another Regilecki. Potentially looking for that last Drago. There it is. So he'll be able to use the ability once again to get around that temple since that twin energy that is attached only counts as one colorless right now. He has the scoop up now, picking up the Regi Drago, putting it back down. There is the Bruno going to shuffle in and draw seven cards. Desperately looking for that stadium here. He does find the stadium in those seven cards. Got it. Got to bump out that temple. Here we got a trekking shoes as well. Thinking about to keep or discard that card. Decides to take it. And he's got the powerful energy, the twin energy. Maybe I'm going to see an attachment here. Yeah, speed on to the Regilecki drawing two. We are going to see a return KO this turn. From the Reggie, but not before it uses its ability for the first time this turn. 
getting that Regilecki set up, and then yeah, Gigas is going to swing in there. He's got the twin energy to count for two and the powerful to do extra damage. The attack does an extra 150 of the attack into a VMAX. So he's going to take his first three prizes after a long, long game here. Dross does decide to promote the Palkia V Star and bench another Ice Rider Calyrex here. In the situation, Josh would really need to just have a boss's orders, but again, they're both spent. That Rigileki is definitely going to take a one-hit KO on this Palkia if it remains in the active this turn. But Josh is going to go ahead and play the Ordinary Rod, putting back two Water Energy and the Inteleon into the deck. Going to go ahead and shuffle it up here. And there is the Melanie, most likely going to go onto that Ice Rider here. We'll be able to draw three cards now as well. Digging a little bit further deeper into the deck. They both have to have very small decks left at this point. It's been a long, long, grindy game here between both players. They're definitely running out of options and outs to each situation. Josh does have a path to get that Dragon finding stadium out of here goodbye stormy mountains path doesn't do anything in this matchup against the reggie deck but at least if zach has to rely on it to find a pokemon they'll have to find it by other means here but yeah palkia's subspace swell it's just gonna go ahead and take the ko here on to that reggie gigas Zack does have the Regilecki already ready to go. Double checking through a quick ball, discarding a Lucky Energy here, and grabbing the last Gigas. Definitely going to set that up, probably to take out that Ice Rider that's left in play here. Regilecki will definitely take a KO here, thanks to the Choice Belt attached to it, increasing its base damage up to 150. And then Weakness will kick in and deal the remaining bit here to KO that Palkia. There is the Gigas' ability here. Gonna get energy onto itself this turn while it still can, just in case Zach is missing a Reggie for the next turn. Yep, and Regilecki is gonna go ahead and yeet that Lightning Energy out of here. And hit that Sobble. And the Calyrex. Two more prizes, one left to go. Josh definitely has to get... It's got to get that out of here. It's got to get that Rigi Gigas out of here, but he doesn't have any boss or any pivot cards at this point in time. I think this game is just locked up now, since he does have to take two prizes to win with no two prize Pokemon in play. We do see a turn attachment onto the Ice Rider Kelly Rex VMAX. All right, situation resolved there. We are seeing a Roxanne from Josh shuffling in. Zach's going to get two cards. Josh is getting one. I 
We see Ride of the High King for the KO here, but I think that the Gigas just comes up and in and swings for the game anyways. Taking that last prize card, and there is the handshake. Zach taking the dub here in round one in his own gaming. We'll be back with round two shortly.